Welcome. Thank you for joining us today to get a preview of our 41st Minority Procurement Conference. Our presentation will begin shortly. Welcome. I am Michelle Suri Robinson, the President and CEO of the Michigan Minority Supplier Development Council. We are so excited to give you a glimpse of our 41st annual Michigan Minority Procurement Conference, fondly known of as MMPC. This year only, we have chosen to move the conference to August in order to maximize in-person participation for results-driven programming under the theme, Access the Bridge to Parity, Accelerating Capital, Contracts, and Equity to Drive Supplier Sustainability. Before highlighting the impactful programming we have in store for you, let me first discuss what's being done to ensure your safety in the COVID pandemic, or hopefully by that time, endemic. Our great team is taking precautions to ensure attendees are safe, ranging from social distancing to food service best practices to personal protection and hand sanitizing stations. Our goal is to provide an environment for all constituents to safely gather. The programming in place to support this mission will be exciting but action driven for both MBEs and corporate members. Here are just a few highlights. There will be an updated call to action for our 333 years to 15 years to parity. In addition to that, along with that opening, we'll find that corporate members and MBEs will have the opportunity to create a reducing 333 years to 15 years blueprint. There will also be an exciting electrification forum, as well as a chief diversity officer summit that is backed by popular demand. Our keynote will be inspiring with Janice Bryant Howroyd and Dr. Valerie Carter Daniels. And I must tell you, none of this would be possible without the great leaders, Bill and Tamika, that are joining us today. Bill and Tamika, as you know, are the vice presidents that really lead all functions of our operation and programming for you, our constituents. First up is Bill Grice. Bill is the executive director of both the MBDA Center and the Business Solutions Group as the vice president here at MMSDC. Bill? Well, thank you, Michelle, and hello, everyone. It is a pleasure to share with you how we as a council refuse to be a copycat organization, an organization that just does things like everyone else. We are raising the bar and growing and scaling minority businesses to not only innovate, but also replicate their business and expand. To truly affect change, we can no longer do things of the past. We all know what we used to do, we just can't do anymore. I believe the pandemic taught us a whole lot during that two and a half years. The 33 years study told us it isn't working. So we must do something, not we should, we must do something different. So we are challenging you to attend this year's conference, MMPC 2022, and find answers to the forever challenges that we have put before you. Michelle put, each, put a challenge before each and every one of us to take real action to drive MBE growth by increasing their access to contracts, increasing minority spend. And we do that with certified minority owned companies and operated companies and their access to capital. On that note, we are going to have, a, have sessions that address these very topics. So you attend MMPC 2022, you will not have to walk away with questions and how do I get there? I don't know how to close this parity gap. We are bringing to you access to capital, access to capital, and that is a complete capital stack where you will understand how MBEs can thrive and strive and to do their absolutely best in their financial uh, literacy, as well as their economic tools in order to impact their businesses. We also will bring pre and post money. We bring that through private equity collaborative partners that we have, VC uh, investment, as well as we have micro investment that will go into startup businesses through our plug and play incubator, as well as 
our partnership with Lawrence Tech University, and they will actually support with capital for pivoting your businesses and, and bringing new products to market. You'll also hear from an economist that will give us real-time outlook with real language that we understand. She will be attending uh, from the Federal Reserve Bank, and she will bring innovative tools and solutions to us real-time what's going on in the economic climate. We'll also have workforce development. And as each and every one of you know, every business has been impacted with workforce development. We know that COVID sat them home, paid them $600 plus a week. Well, a lot of them did not want to come back to work. They were receiving that, that uh, uh, supplemental income, and it, it was just a, a nice, comfy way to uh, earn a living without really doing anything. So what we have done is we have put together our workforce development department that is now bringing solutions to the marketplace, and we are bridging the gap between our, our uh, community partners, our corporations, our MBEs, as well as our community community service partners that will uh, go after the underserved, underrepresented population and bring them into the workforce in mighty fold. So with that, we are overcoming the constant changes with today's workforce, and we are bringing those tools to help your businesses. So MMPC 2021, 2022, I'm sorry, will highlight those tools. So without further ado, I will bring forth uh, Tamika Williamson, which is the VP of um, Operation Excellence within our organization, and she will further uh, this preview and uh, bring you also some more exciting information. So thank you for this opportunity. Tamika, take it away. Awesome. I appreciate you, Bill. Hello, everyone. What exciting programming we have in store for you at our 41st Michigan Minority Procurement Conference. If you haven't registered already, you should have. But if you need more inspiration on why you should be in the house, let me give you a few more reasons. As Michelle shared, we will be live and in person, and we look forward to seeing you there. After having the conference virtually for the past two years, it's time for us to gather safely at Huntington Place and learn how to grow and scale together. So what, are we, what else are we bringing? We're going to bring back the Business Opportunity Exchange live and in person. So it will be a scaled down version because again, we want to make sure we're adhering to COVID protocols, but it is an opportunity for you to come to connect and do it live and in person. Along with that, we will have matchmaking opportunities. So with matchmaking opportunities, we are going to do that live and virtually. And how you can get started with that is by going to matchmaker365.org and checking out our new and exciting proprietary matchmaking software called Matchmaker 365. If you haven't heard about it, now you know. So your call to action is to go and register your organization, go register your business so that you as a buyer can connect to suppliers and you as a supplier can connect to buyers 365 days of the year 24 seven. That is going to be the foundation for our matchmaking activities at MLPC. So you definitely want to register and be present for that opportunity as well. But before we go, I must also share with you a session that we're offering for our extended constituents in the educational space, HR professionals, training and development departments, and hey, anybody who has an interest in writing a book, a white paper or a research paper or something in that space. We're bringing one of our MBDA clients who have a great tool that's going to use AI to show you how to cre co create content in minutes. It's going to save you both time and money. So you definitely want to attend the session by Anthony Joyner. Now to wrap us up, I want to remind you again, go to the website and register. Secure your spot today. You must be at MLPC Live. Along with that, 
there are still sponsorship opportunities. So secure your sponsorship, get a booth. Hey, do all of the above. And again, don't forget to register your organization and business for Matchmaker 365. Last but not least, hot off the press. All my golfers, you'll be excited to know that registration is now open for our annual golf invitation. This year will be Monday, July 11th at Oakland Golf Course. Last year, our buyer and MBE match was a huge success. We had well over 60 buyers paired with MBEs on the greens. We're doing it again this year and we're doing it bigger. We also are gonna have a golf clinic. So if you're like me, you're a novice at golf, here's an opportunity to come and you know put a little golf skills in your toolkit so that you can go out there and fake the funk on the greens and make those connections. So sign up for the golf clinic as well, but go and register because registration is now open. Thank you again for joining us in this preview. We look forward to seeing you at Huntington Place. Again, go register for MLPC 41. To close us out, we wanna make sure you're prepared and you are in position to maximize what's to come for our uh, 41st MMPC conference. So stay tuned for some tips on how to maximize MLPC from one of our speakers, neuroscientist Shante Javon Taylor. She's going to share with you some awesome ways to be in the place and do it safely, but also maximizing the opportunity. Thanks again for attending our MLPC preview day. We look forward to seeing you in August. Hello, my name is Shante Javon Taylor neuroscientist and success strategist. I'm also the founder of the Optimine Institute, and it is my honor to share some updates regarding the Michigan Minority Supplier Development Council's 41st Michigan Minority Procurement Conference for 2022. Before I make some announcements, I would like to share that I am looking forward to sharing about how you can manage your mental empires as you scale your business empires. It is my mission to empower 1 billion minds. So that includes you because you are important in this world to sell your products and services to make a difference in the world. And I'm honored to be aligned with this conference. Now, you may be wondering, since we're all coming back from that offline world to the in-person experience, maybe you need some reminders and some insights on how you can really optimize your in-person experience. So this is the MMSDC's first live event, except for the golf tournament uh, last summer since the start of COVID. And this Conference will likely be the first live networking event in a while for many of you all, the attendees. So let's discuss some mindset best practices as we're returning uh, to the in-person experience. And for those of you who are joining remotely, I have something for you too. Make sure that you limit how much physical contact you will be making at the conference. For example, what can you take from paper form to digital form? For example, business cards can now be digitized. Search on an app, ask a coworker or colleague or someone in your IT department, and I'm sure you can find a way to go virtual or go tech with your business cards. Also be very strategic on your experience at the conference. Have an idea of who you would like to connect with. Maybe do a warm introduction or let them know that you'll be there in person if you already know them and maybe schedule some specific time to meet them directly. This can minimize wandering, but yet optimize your time and mental energy because let's face it, conferences can be very tiring sometimes, but 
thank goodness you have a neuroscientist talking to you today. So you wanna do as much prep work as possible before you get to the conference, just to make sure you optimize your mental time and energy. A big part of the mindset preparation is to understand why you are attending. Understand why it is important for your mission, your purpose to bring the in-person experience to your company, to make sure people are aware of where you are in your company and mission and grow. You wanna be able to make those connections so that you continue to grow. And conferences, whether you are in person or virtual, is a whole brain experience. And studies show that when people go to conferences, they tend to be much more aware, socially fulfilled, and focused after they leave. There's even studies that show that women who attend conferences tend to be much more confident when they go back into their work atmosphere and make bolder decisions like pay increases, for example. But remember, conferences are very engaging because you're learning from different people, from different perspectives, so you're engaging more parts of the brain. And if you're in person, you will be able to engage even more, specifically your social brain. But I don't wanna leave you virtual attendees out. There's numerous ways where you can be fully engaged and still network as if you are in person as well. If you want to engage your brain in this experience fully and get the most out of the conference, make sure you block off this time. Be okay with setting boundaries with your time and mental energy so you can really soak up all the goodness from the panels and keynote speakers and really be able to engage your brain, learn what you need to know so you can take your business to the next level, so that you can take your company to the next level. You want to minimize as many distractions as possible. And I know you've probably heard this before, but it's true. If your attention is divided, that means your learning will be divided. Your engagement will be divided. And you won't be able to pick up on the nuances and those intuitive nudges and get those aha moments that is so needed when we are in business. So I challenge you to close your tabs, block off your time, send those emails to say, I won't be available and really engage because this conference is for you. It is specifically designed for you to go to the next level of your business. So let's honor that time. Let's honor your time. Your time is important. So let's go all in. One of the themes of this conference is talking about mental health. And that's another reason why I really want you all to be tuned in because a lot of things have been unveiled during this pandemic. Everybody was affected in some way. And unfortunately, there seems to be trends in mental health uh, getting worse during this time. And we're not out of the woods yet. But in our busyness before the pandemic, it was kind of easy to ignore those nudges. It was easy to, to ignore those things we knew were important to take care of. But the pandemic allowed us be, to become more aware of those gaps in our lives, in our businesses, in our relationships. And not everybody fared well. And it's so important for us to be able to identify and finally close those gaps. But you don't have to do it alone. And that is why we are making it a point to discuss how you can manage your mental empire as you are building your financial empires. So you'll be able to learn more about mental health and its effect on the workplace during our HR and workplace development session on August 23rd from 3 to 4 p.m. And make sure you make it to my session where I'll be discussing how to scale your business from a brain success perspective.
Because like I always tell my clients, every next level of you will require another level of your brain power. Okay, so scaling your business will require you to think differently, to think outside the box, to navigate potential obstacles that could hold you back, but also to expand your creativity and your innovation. Before then, you can find me on social media. You can go to shantejavontaylor.com to learn more about what I do and how I empower one billion minds. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Facebook, or Instagram. And yeah, I'm a bit on TikTok as well. We can't wait for you to join us and meet you both virtually and in person. With you, this conference is sure to be a success and you are sure to get the tools and support you need to go to the next level of your business. I'll see you there. Don't forget to register. See you in August.